So one of the big benefits of blockchain is what's known as immutability. The idea that once a record gets committed to the blockchain or to the ledger, it's there permanently. In blockchain, it's a little bit different than a database, and we'll talk about this in another module in a lot more depth. But in a traditional database, we're used to being able to edit records and delete records, and that's not the case in a blockchain. In a blockchain, there are only two possible operations. We can create a new record, and we can go back and we can read existing records. And this contributes to this idea of immutability. That once data is written to the blockchain, it can't be edited, it can't be deleted. All you can do is add another record to the blockchain, indicating that something about that data has changed. Um, this immutability is what makes blockchain such a secure solution, and it's what makes it a trustless solution, meaning I don't have to trust anybody that I'm interacting with or trading with, as long as we both trust in the, the the blockchain and the data on the blockchain, then we can transact back and forth seamlessly. The way immutability works is blockchain is by design a very, very inefficient solution. We are asking a large number of nodes, all the nodes on a network, to perform exactly the same work as every other node. So essentially we are duplicating work over and over and over again. The reason we do this is because the only way to potentially change data on a blockchain is by changing the record on that blockchain for 51% or more of the nodes or the miners or the uh, participants trying to come to consensus on the blockchain. And when you get to very, very large scale networks, Ethereum with its 16,000 plus nodes, Bitcoin with over 30,000 nodes, this becomes a very, very, very tall order. Trying to hack or change a record on over 15,000 of those Bitcoin nodes would be quite a bit of work. Um, so it's not impossible to change the record on a blockchain, but it is impossible from a practical standpoint. Now one thing that should be noted when we talk about immutability is all that blockchain gives us is an accurate recording of what was posted. Um, it is still up to whoever's posting that information on the blockchain to make sure it's accurate and true. In other words, blockchain doesn't do anything to validate that the information on it is correct. All it validates is that that information hasn't been changed since it was originally written. Another way to think about that is I could post a record on blockchain that says the sky is orange. That doesn't make the sky orange. We all know the sky is blue. All that does is that means I can't ever come back later and claim I didn't say that or I said it was blue and someone changed the record. Um, that immutability that blockchain gives us is that that data was captured as it was originally written and hasn't been changed. And another part of this immutability is cryptographic hashing and the way that we chain all these blocks together. If you haven't watched the module on proof of work, I would suggest you go watch that now to see a really in-depth overview, a hands-on demo of how blocks are actually linked together in such a way that if I ever went back and tried to change any information or prior transaction on the blockchain, I would break that chaining in a very obvious way that anyone would immediately spot if they came and queried that data off the blockchain. So when you hear about immutability, just understand that all we're talking about is the virtual impossibility of anyone ever being able to come along and change any data on the blockchain. And also along with that, understand that we only have two possible operations on blockchain. We can only read data and we can only add new data. There's no concept of an edit or a delete. And this is what we talk about when we talk about immutability on the blockchain.